In Louisville, Kentucky, we went to the Nerd Rage Gaming Championship Series and interviewed Todd Anderson, an MTG writer competing in the modern tournament. In this video, we covered Todd's red-green version of the Underworld Breach and Grinding Station combo. Let's check this deck out. Basically, it's a tournament where all the best players in the world from different countries and everything come in the same room and play the game that we all love. I am Jay Spiller. And I am Stoneforge Mystic. It's just a really amazing game. It's just mind-boggling to even think about. I guess the rest is history. I like the power level of modern. I think that most decks can win uh, given the right set of draws and the right circumstances. It's just a, a way for people to get to play with cards that have been around for 20 years. It's a, it's a really fun format because you get to do wild stuff. I'm Todd Anderson. Uh, we're playing in the NRG Louisville 15K Open and I'm playing Gruel Breach. So Gruel Breach is a deck that uses Underworld Breach and Grinding Station to essentially mill your entire deck with a zero mana artifact. Underworld Breach says you can play the zero mana artifact from your graveyard by exiling three cards. And so you basically get to self mill your whole deck. You use Mox Amber as one of those cards and that combined with a few legendary permanents lets you generate mana. And the ultimate kill is Grape Shot. The Gruel deck specifically is built on the back of one mana and free Modern Horizons 2 cards like Raghavan and Dragon Race Channeler and Fury. The mana base is four copies of Stomping Ground. Uh, we have four basic mountains. I waffled really hard on trying to fit a forest in. Instead, I went with just four mountain, four Stomping Ground, four Urza Saga, and some Fetch Lands. But we need to play a bunch of Fetch Lands to make Ren and Six good. So the deck contains Dragon Race Channeler, Raghavan, Fury, and I have one Haywire Might as a tutor target for Urza Saga. So our creatures are used to play a fair game plan that when our opponent is not interacting with us, we get to capitalize on the free treasures from Raghavan as well as the free surveils from the Dragon Race Channeler. When our opponent starts to collapse our board and kill our stuff, we find the combo kill with Underworld Breach and Grinding Station to punish them for tapping out. So the combo works, you play Underworld Breach, you play Grinding Station and a zero mana artifact. You sack the zero mana artifact to Grinding Station. The three cards let you uh, cast it from the graveyard with Underworld Breach, Rinse and Repeat. You use that with Mox Amber to generate mana, and that lets you kill your opponent with Grape Shot. So the, the combo pieces are obviously very important, you know, but it's a very tight package. We have four Underworld Breach and three Grinding Station. The rest of the deck basically just plays like a fair red deck. We have uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, combines really nicely with Ren and Six to turn lands into more fuel. We also have the powerful one drops of Raghavan and DRC, the pressures opponents that are a little slower out of the gate. And then Ren and Six is a marquee card in the deck. It works well with uh, Urza Saga, but also just a, a powerhouse engine on its own, interactive to kill opposing Raghavans and other one toughness creatures. So red is the core color in, in most of them. Uh, Unholy Heat, obviously a huge upgrade as a removal spell, kills six toughness creatures. I chose to eliminate playing blue specifically because I just like playing Ren and Six, and I found that when you're trying to play three colors, Ren and Six is much worse. My general strategy for my sideboard is to be way more interactive. I have a bunch of copies of Beseju, you know, Ancient Grudge, uh, removal spells, and extra Fury. A lot of tutor targets actually for Urza Saga for specific situations, like a Soul Guide Lantern and some other stuff. The Nido card in the sideboard is Orvar. It's a blue creature. I can't actually cast it. We play that against Archon of Cruelty. Our opponent makes us discard it. We get to copy their Archon of Cruelty and make them sacrifice. I honestly don't play that much modern, so I don't know what the best and worst matchups are. I know that when my opponent kills my Raghavan, that's bad. When they don't kill my Raghavan, that's good. <laughs> I love the agency that the deck offers. You have a lot of uh, different methods of attack. If your opponent interacts with you, you can combo kill them. If they don't interact with you, you leverage those early one mana creatures. We actually have trouble finding the combo pieces in this build because we don't have expressive iteration. But with Fable of the Mirror Breaker, we just have an extra level of like mid ranginess that our opponents have to fight through. The actually backside of Fable of the Mirror Breaker works really well with the three main deck Furies as well. I think you should play this version because Fable of the Mirror Breaker is awesome, Ren and Six is great, and I haven't lost a match with the deck yet in two tournaments. So we'll see how it goes for the rest of the day though. That's all we have for this episode. We'd like to thank Todd for giving us the time for sharing his deck. Unfortunately, he did not make the top 8 of the tournament. But there is more information about this deck and a link to other content by Todd in the video's description. We'd also like to give a thanks to NRG for hosting the event. If you're looking for a great tournament series to play in, then please check out the NRG Championship Series. We have more information about their tournament series in the description box below. We hope you enjoyed this video. There are more episodes to watch. In fact, here is a clip from our last one, which also took place at the NRG event.
My deck attempts to leverage Undying cards like Feign Death and Undying Evil, and high power evoke elementals such as Fury and Grief to cheat a cheap 4-3 with Menace or a cheap 4-4 with Double Strike into play with added effects. I'm Ty, I'm playing Rectos Scam, and I'm playing an Energy Louisville Showdown.